We have an update now on a 7 Action News investigation about those parking stations in downtown Detroit that were failing and giving people bogus tickets. The problem has gotten worse, much worse in fact, but a fix is now on the way. Yeah, Scott Lewis exposed that issue last year after a slew of complaints from viewers. Now, Scott, if there is a problem, then why hasn't the city taken some of these parking stations out of commission? Well, they have, Jeff. They've taken dozens and dozens of them and putting out-of-order signs on them. But the head of the Municipal Parking Department is promising this system will soon be back to 100%. Help! Help! Anybody? In February of 2012, we introduced you to Gail and Philip O'Neill, two of many people who were frustrated with the city's downtown parking pay stations. Okay, what's the car for? A lot of the pay stations weren't taking coins or credit cards. People were getting cited anyway and having to take time off of work to fight their tickets. When I can't put money in the meter, I don't believe that it's reasonable that I pay a ticket for not being able to um, pay the parking cost. I've dismissed your ticket, ma'am. The problem we reported was that batteries in the pay stations were dying and the city didn't have replacements. Now the problem is even more widespread. Yeah, quite a few went down all at the same time. Municipal Parking Director Shawnee DeBerry says about 80 of the city's 176 parking stations have been down for a month. They're marked out of order, and that's costed about $80,000 so far in lost pay station revenue. But DeBerry says a new shipment of batteries is coming this week, enough to fix every one of the broken pay stations. Meanwhile, the city is putting new heads on single parking meters in the downtown area. These are smart meters, solar powered with 9 volt batteries that DeBerry says will be more reliable. So the issues that we may have with batteries today, uh, that issue should go away as we replace more of the single space meters with the, the new solar base meters. Another complaint about the pay stations was that they were way too complicated. So let's find out how user friendly these new ones are. This will be my first time trying. I haven't read the directions. I do see that they take a credit card. The first thing we noticed is that the glass is cloudy on some of the meters, making it hard to read the instructions. And maybe it was just a case of smart smart meter, dumb user, but I had trouble figuring out which way the credit card goes in, and I got it backwards the first time. And then when I reversed the card, now that's how it's supposed to work. Not accepted error. It says the meter takes American Express, but it wouldn't take mine, so I switched to a MasterCard. Oh, we've got action. Please wait. Ooh, bingo, bango. We got an hour. Using coins is a snap, and a couple of folks I talked to said the new meters are a definite improvement. I always was confused by some of the other pay stations. I, they're smarter than I was, I think. But this seems to be very simple and, and works well. By the way, even those older pay stations are marked out of order, the parking limits are still being enforced. So watch out. How can you enforce it, though? How do you know when someone parked there? Something called electronic chalking within our handheld um, technology that we use to write the ticket. When I told the municipal parking director the new meters wouldn't take American Express and some of them had cloudy glass, she sent a crew out. They were there in an hour. They removed the American Express logos because the meters don't take Amex. And they discovered that the cloudy glass was caused by condensation that was forming inside. They said they'd get a hold of the manufacturer and they'd <laughs> get it fixed. Wow. Scott, don't feel bad. I had the same issue. I couldn't get that thing going. So how does the card go in then? These are the same as the meters in Royal Oak. You put it in face up and the top of the card goes to your left. If you do that, it's in and out very smoothly and it works. Yeah, but you know everyone's confused. How can they charge people for parking and it's out of order? Well, before that was the problem because they were giving people tickets and there was, they couldn't put the money in. So how is that fair if you try to pay and you can't? But at least that should be fixed with the new batteries. Thank goodness, right? Yeah.